Hey everyone, I have here a piece of Madagascar Labradorite. So I say we cut it and see what the heck this stuff looks like. Okay. I find a stone and take it home and polish it and hope it shines and also there's a chicken. Hey everyone, this is Clayton. And like I said, today we have a piece of Madagascar Labradorite. And I'm like, when I first heard of this, I'm like, Lab Madagascar Labradorite? I mean, isn't Labradorite from Labrador? But then what do I know? <coughs> Labradorite, I guess, was first found in Labrador, and hence the name, Labradorite. And then they found it in other places. And apparently there's a... Uh, how would you say it? There's a lot of fake Labradorite going around. It's still Labradorite, but they're importing it from... Madagascar or and or Africa or wherever the they're finding it and then selling it as actual Labrador Labradorite from Labrador, which is like false marketing. The Labradorite from Labrador is, I guess, better quality and well, not so much better quality, but it's from Labrador, so it's the original stuff. And you know, it's sort of like that lying about what you got type thing. You know, it's. People think they're getting Labradorite from Labrador, and it's from Madagascar, and ten times less expensive, but they're still selling it for expensiveness. And where am I going with this? Okay, let's take a look at this. It's Labradorite. You know, it's got, where's the blue pointy stick of destiny? We've got, like, layers going through this way. And if you look at the end... Well, depending on which end you look at, you can see, well, there's the layers going through, and there's the flat part of the layers. And there's a lot of that iridescence going on. And even when it, let's make it wet. I don't think this really changes a whole lot when it gets wet. Well, yeah, there's a little more funky McFunkenstein shininess going on. Especially on this side. I'm hoping the camera does pick that up. So, really what we should do is take this over onto the wheel. And, but I'm, actually what I'm planning on doing is flattening this side out. And maybe these two sides. So, it'll give us an idea of how it looks from different directions. So, that's the first thing on the agenda. So, let's head over to the wheel and start a, start a polishing. Ready? Get some water going. Oh, there's the water. have a new setup for the what's this thing called the camera new setup for the camera I right, can slide it right along a track now but I'm just gonna start just need a little bit more wah wah a little bit more of the wah wah going I use the big wheel to get this cut down a little bit And I got an LED light to put on there. And it seems to work really nice for lighting this up. Why does that seem to be falling down? I think I gotta tighten all these screws up a little bit. Seems to be pretty good, but it turns off on me unexpectedly. Okay, there we got that. Right now I'm gonna flatten this side down a little bit. It had this big wheel, it just, it puts the whoop on everything. It's got the whoopee to it. I'm not going to go too crazy on this, because I just want to get a idea of what these sides look like. Be 
give a good representation of what each edge looks like. Hmm. That's working out pretty nice. All right, let me turn the water off on that. And then we're going to go to the next one, which all I have to do is do this. Isn't that awesome? I think so. Kind of strange when you hear that you got Labradorite from Madagascar. Like I was saying, like Labradorite came from Labrador, since it's hence the name. That's like saying this is German French toast. You know, or or American French fries. I guess you could think of it that way. Kind of crazy when you get to nationalities and whatnot. I had a friend of mine, <laughs> had a friend of mine that I game with online. She's from Canada, and my sole purpose in life is to drive her insane. So we were, and we only hardly ever talk voice. It's always texting and texting and text rooms and whatnot when we're gaming and stuff. And he said something about being from Canada or, Can or being Canadian. No, it was from being from Canada. And I said, how can you be from Canada? Well, actually, I spelled it Canadia. And I said, spell it wrong. It's spelled Canadia. And I spelled it like Canadia. And she's like, no, it's Canada. She spelled it properly, Canada. And I'm like, it's, come on. I said, first off, you live in Canada, and you said you've never seen a moose your entire life. Now you're misspelling the c name of the country. And she always falls for it pretty good, too, because she says, well, why do you say it's Canada? And I said, well, well, here we go. That's actually got some nice flash. And that light turned off. What kind of LED light is it that turns off after five minutes? got some flash in there but not a tremendous amount there's this end that's got nothing and that's yeah that's really got nothing either I think the flat end is going to be our our best bet for any type of decent flashiness a flashy of flashiness let's take it over to the bench real quick and take a look there Okay, we are back, and let me get this somewhat dried off so we can take a look at how this Madagascar Labradorite looks. And uh, I got this along with a bunch of other rocks for Christmas from my daughter and son-in-law. Hey, <laughs> my best Christmas presents ever are boxes of rocks, and it was labeled as Madagascar Mix. And there's a lot of different stones in there. We'll be cutting a lot of them here now that I got that aggressive wheel. But this one was in there, and this is the, lab, the Madagascar Labradorite. So let's take a look at that. It's got some flash in there, but like this side, there's nothing from that angle. And there's really nothing from that angle either. Anytime I have any type of flash is this. Oh, there it's showing up. So, so far I'm not truly impressed with this stuff. To, to be honest, it looks more like layers of mica than it does Labradorite. So, oh, I should finish the story. Yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, Canada. So I'm like, Dark, and that's her game name is Dark. I said, listen, Americans come from America, right? I'm like, yeah. And 
Lithuanians come from Lithuania. Australians come from Australia. So you are Canadian, so you're going to come from Canada. And that's how it's spelled. And it was great. I had the text argument with her for about 20 minutes about the proper spelling of Canada. So I almost had her convinced she was wrong, but she knows I just mess with her head. So if you ever hear me saying about Canada, you know, you know it's, it's actually Canada, but don't tell her. All right. <sighs> so back to this thing. And before we get back to this, I'm obligated to do this as well. Today's video is brought to you by Mrs. Cluck's Chicken Ducks, provider of quality hen's teeth oh geez, since 1974. So for all your hen's teeth and hen teeth products, call Mrs. Cluck. So I'm going to take this back over to the wheel, and I'm actually not going to record it. I'm just going to round this off into some sort of cabochon shape, and then bring it back. Alrighty? So, don't go away. Don't go running off to Canada or anything. All right? We'll, we'll, we'll be right back. I'm back, and I gave that a quick quick shaping on there. Um, Sort of went with this shape. Maybe there's a little bit. Maybe it looks a little better now. I don't know. But you see, we still have those. Man, why can't I get this thing? Oh! Okay, we've got some flash in there, like Labradorite has. The edges don't, do not have any of it. It's all on these surfaces here. I can sort of, yeah, you can catch it right there. And each side has about equal amount of flashy flash to it. This side might be a tad bit flashier. And just oh well maybe not it just depends on how how it's held. Hmm. So I'm thinking I'll make this side the top and this side the bottom. Maybe we'll call this the Eye of Canada. That's what it'll be the Eye of Canada jewel. <clears throat> so let's take this over to the wheel and I'll shape this thing. We'll film that. I just didn't want to bother cutting that shape out because I didn't know how long it would take. And let's just go over and do it. Right? You understand, right? Let's just go over and do it. <clears throat> and off we go. Now, one thing I have found out about this. Ooh, too much water. This uh, wheel, other than being a little bit loud, is... If I'm doing on a side like this, it will sometimes chip up the bottom. So if I'm working it on the top like that, it actually chips this bottom up a little bit. So I have to be kind of careful while I'm doing that. I'm going to get myself a nice angle on that. Wow, that really... Woo! I'm really tickled with how this thing cuts. It's actually almost too rough in some ways. I gotta use a really, really light touch. Right there, I went a little bit too far. Too far, I say. I guess it's like anything else, you've gotta learn how to use it. But as for time and efficiency, holy Moses, yeah, it, you can't beat it. Especially with a softer, softer stone like this. Got to turn that water down a little bit. I'm spraying all over my legs. Heaven forbid I get, like, wet. Hmm. It's kind of nice with these wheels this way. I don't... I can almost do a stone without doffing it. <clears throat> almost do it from start to finish without doffing it. 
I find out that it somewhat is faceted up tiny facets that I can't remove real well without having it on a stick. Actually, it's fast enough. I can probably talk the whole time without fast forwarding through this. Let's take a look. It's looking pretty good. There, I can get the flash in it. May have to. Whoa! There we go. May have to zip over to the for the next wheel because I'm getting to the point where I have to be more more careful. And I think that's what we're gonna have to do. So let's just. I love how I can just pick this up and come right over <coughs> to where I need to be. That is just awesome. And the LED light, <coughs> have it right there. It's supposed to be shining on everything. So let's get some water going here on this one. Hello, water. Come on. There it is. Okay, let me get the sides here. Yeah, maybe a tad bit more water. Uh, that might be about right. And here, this wheel is so much more quiet than the other wheel. The other wheel, it, you know, it's like tearing things to death. If I tried to do all of this on that, on this wheel, yeah, we'd be here for... I'd be here for quite some time. I mean, I could do it. But it's just much more labor intensive. If I want to make some stones to take to the shows and whatnot, or even shells to take to the shows, you know, the, the more efficiently, not the faster, but the more efficiently I can make them, you know, that's, that's a big, that's a big deal. I've got a somewhat of a flat spot there. Like I can feel it when I'm running it across the wheel there like that. On the very top of that. See, now we're getting some flash in there. Flash seems to be very directional. Okay, we got a. I can feel some gnarlies in there. I'm gonna have to really work out with the the wheel here. So this may be a little bit longer than I expected. Well, actually, it's not gonna take long compared to how it used to be. Let me make sure. Everything nice and even. You know, this is the eye of Canada, you know. How is the eye of Canada looking? It's actually not looking too bad. I'll work on this end a little bit. Put some facets in there. Okay, okay, take a good look at her. Trying to get the flash to it and not getting flash until we get off to the side like that. But still, it'll be the eye Canadia, eh? Okay, let that run for a couple seconds to dry off some. Let's head over to the next wheel. Wow, oh, I love having this arm articulated to the point that I can just move it anywhere I need to. Okay, shut that off. There we go. Being able to adjust the water however I like it is just great. Okay, let's start the edges here. Yeah, 
when you're dealing with a bigger cab like this, it does take a little bit longer, especially when you're used to doing like grape size ones are smaller. Yeah, and I'm not really pushing hard at all on this. This is very much a uh, light touch. So let's see how it's looking. It's looking pretty good. I'm trying to get it dried off enough that I can see what's happening. Looking for facets and stuff. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to hit these edges again. I hate having to come back and when I find some spots that I didn't hit, hit well enough, you know. If it was on a dot stick, I could probably do it a little bit better. I want to practice without the dot stick. It may be, it may just be that, like, yep, you're going to have to dot them to get the mobility you need to get the facets out. And if that's how it is, then so be it. Let's take this undryable rag and... Wow, that is like completely undryable. It's coming along pretty darn nice. I'm going to pull my arm hairs out trying to wipe it clean. Okay, I think you can actually hit the 1200 grit. Wow. I'll move this over here. Okay, there's the water. A little bit too much water. There. You said this one's louder too. Shouldn't have to hit this one too hard. Okay. I think we can stop on that and head over here and take a better look at it on the table. Okay, so don't go away. Um, Okay, I got a blue wipey rag. The blue wipey rag of destiny. Let me wipe my fingers off. Sort of figure that if it's in with the rest of the rags for out here, it's still not going to be one that'll dry off real well. Oh my gosh, it's another one of those rags that don't collect water. Okay, let's see what we have. Wow. I don't think the camera's picking up as nice as it actually is. But that's pretty nice. There's flash in there. Let me adjust the... Maybe that'll help. Is that helping? Nope, I think it just made it darker flash. I'll try it with that. Let's see how close I can get and still have, have focus. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty darn nice. It seems like I have most of the... A little bit of wonkiness right there. Seems like I have most of the facets out. And you know, there's a little bit of, come on, you can focus, a little bit of grind marks right here along this edge. Overall, there's, this is kind of pretty. It's not as good as some of the Labradorite I've seen. But, tell you what, let's take it over in cerium oxide. And that'll be the teller, all right? So don't go away, be right back. Okay, I'm back. 
and well I have to say that these rags are terrible but that cerium oxide sure did improve this stone's quality a bit so here's what we have there is some super flashy bits all through there I mean like sparkly sparkles and there's that flash you get like right there it is Ooh, yeah there it is you got that flash and you know oh no it's it shined up pretty nicely well I wouldn't say that this is going to be a good representation of what the Madagascar Labradorite is like because it was in a box or a parcel of, you know, t stones to tumble. So you can be pretty sure that it is not what you call high quality Madagascar Labradorite. But it's pretty. It's definitely pretty. I mean, it has some of the flash. That whoosh, 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 whoosh. Yeah, that's what you call it. Though. But yeah, definitely it's not a representation of the of high quality Madagascar Labradorite. But you can say one thing about it. Definitely, for sure, this stone is a win. So if you like the video, you know, hit the button down there. Like, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. That'll you know let you know when I do all kinds of weird junk like this. And... Dark, if you're watching, remember you live in Canada, and this is the eye of Canada. So, please don't send hate mail. She's going to kill me as it is. So thanks for spending some time with me, and have a good evening.